This video is about Bootstrap Studio and doing meta tags for search engine optimization. It's also, I'll show you how to, the addresses to, uh, to do that. So if we create a um, new design, okay, and if, if you just think this is your design or, you know, the blog post one, so we have some content there. So when that loads. So what we're doing there is, this is this is it. So for, if you just um, imagine that your site's done and everything like that in Bootstrap Studio, and you go to settings at the top here, <coughs> and the second one here, meta tags, okay. So just add meta, okay. And it's got there the name. It's also or a drop down thing that's not working um but if you just put in description okay so this is the description of your site okay so a description a person as i've said on here before i'm not a search engine optimization expert um i've never really had any failures uh, as long as it it takes a little bit of time uh, some people uh, to me it's a bit of smoke and mirrors at times but and even with uh, meta tags and keywords and stuff like that uh, there's some people think that these don't really have any relevance in modern day um, SEO um, I still think it's worth putting them in even if you're just going to do it for Yahoo and Bing um, of course the main one is Google but anyway just for a, a short description of what, what your website is about so you could say my site is about whatever you know blah 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 okay so that's that and then you add meta another one and you could put this in as um keywords okay and you can put in keywords like uh websites i don't know whatever your site could be about cakes and put that with an apostrophe each one cakes uh homemade you know just just imagine this is a cake store or whatever um wedding and you can i think is about i would put in about 30 of those another one that you can do is author okay so the author will be you so uh in my case nigel brewster and uh and these these three here would be um you know okay and you save that there so when you save that and you export it the meta tags would go into the uh the head section so okay so for example if you've got that done you've put it up on your um your domain and everything like that you've got all your files up online and now you want to do the um to the search engines the main ones is yahoo being and google of course uh people think that Google, well, it, rightly so, Google is the main one. However, um, Bing and that and Yahoo still have, uh, you know, it still has like sort of a, a big following. If you use Linux, the uh, Firefox is the main browser there and it already has by default Yahoo. Um, I have uh, Windows phones and Windows always goes to Bing too. Um, so, it still does have a, a big, big market. Uh, Bing uh, actually powers Yahoo, or is it the other way around? I can't remember. I think it's Bing powers Yahoo. Okay, so what you would do here, this site here is bing.com slash toolbox slash submit site URL. So what you would do there is just put in your HTTP, just a minute, HTTP there, and then my site, mysite.com. Whatever your site is, you put it there, okay? And then you do these letters here, 5SRGXM or whatever it is, and you can refresh whatever. Then it's submit. So you submit that. You don't have to submit it uh, to Yahoo as well. It's already done by Bing. So they both go to that same, um, or they certainly did the last time uh, I've asked, I submitted one. So... You don't have to do both there. Uh, it should work on both Yahoo and Bing. Go to this, uh, Google now. 
and this is google.com slash webmasters submit url so here you it's got google adds new sites to our index and updates existing ones every time we crawl the web if you have a new url tell us about it here we don't add all submitted urls to our index and we can make predictions or guarantees about when or if submitted urls would appear in our index now google are always changing their algorithms so it's it is it's it's very difficult to to know what google's doing with the other two bing and yahoo uh, i've had websites go you know to the top in, th in three days three or four days on google that can take a month easy um i usually get there in the end but if it's for clients and things like that they always want things doing fast always beware though of people who can guarantee you'd be on google on the first page within the first few days uh i don't trust that i think it's uh and now it is google and if you get a bad reputation uh they, they know that these are put in links and backlinks and, and all sorts of stuff that um i don't really understand totally i'll be honest uh but i know that for for example somebody like bmw got really hammered over this um, and they're a massive firm so google doesn't take any uh, prisoners on that always you know if you try and do it the proper way put in everything that you can in your um websites things like uh it has on there for example photography in new york uh search engine optimization likes h1 tags h1 h2 tags um and at least for now uh there, there are, that's other things and they like over 300 words and that in your home page uh to my understanding anyway but anyway i'm just giving you the basics of this put your url in wherever that is i'm not a robot click that submit request and uh and then like sort of google uh, will then crawl it this can as i say it can take a little bit of time um you can become despondent but like you all you can keep checking about things of uh, how to improve sao uh, it's something i'm always working on um if anybody's got any great ideas for it as well apart from these uh, site maps as well is another important thing uh, so again uh, that's just a few tips on how to do search engine optimization the very basics and how to do meta tags and bootstrap studio so again thanks for watching thanks for listening